Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World and we're going to be talking with 2fab.com today where we're going to be reading from their article that they put out on social media where it was concerning the snake gate and who was responsible behind recording Cynthia allegedly okay even if it is a tape uh, of which Yovana had called herself um, recording or had in possession of recording of Cynthia Bailey talking real nasty about Nene Leakes. Yes, this is a slanderous type of sensational story they got on twofab.com. Check them out for all your entertainment news and blogging uh, worthy news on entertainers out there in the celebrity realm. Okay? But if you're too lazy to go do all that, just come on over to the family house. The house family. However you want to put it, it's all a family affair over here at Deb Chanel. Yes, we get down, we sit and talk with one another about what's trending out there in the social media realm on a daily basis or whenever we can get together. Okay, people? All right, then. All right, and I want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Continue to do all of that. And please share and like my videos, okay? Share and like and be kind to me, all right, and my comments and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i really appreciate you okay but we're gonna get short and quick into this article that uh two fab had bought out it was a staff writer they don't give the journalist uh name or anything of that nature but uh it was put out today around 9 a.m don't know what time zone though okay but they titled the article kenya portia and candy hatch a plan to ambush potential Real Housewives of Atlanta Snape. Now you know I had said back a good uh, a good ways or a good time or a good spell uh, from today. I think it may have been a couple of days ago or maybe a, a week ago. I had exposed allegedly that Yovana Monoplasur or however you pronounce her last name uh, came up short uh, producing a video or clip or audio that had put someone on blast of talking about Nene Leakes real bad okay she never could bring it to fruition so allegedly Bravo got rid of her okay she was just playing the phone how they say fake it till you make it but when they asked her for the goods at hand so they can you know get it on tape for recording for people like us to take part of honey she couldn't come up with the goods but that's neither here nor there we'll find it out as we keep looking at the show okay but don't forget Get who spilled those beans first so tell everybody about my john and come on over here all right all right and definitely subscribe but we get on into the article it says the real housewives of atlanta decide yovana is still a suspect and plan to confront her at a party okay as relationship woes continue to plague season 12 the real housewives of atlanta so does the group snake who allegedly recorded Cynthia Bailey talking smack about Nene Leakes, okay? In Too Fast's exclusive sneak peek of Sunday's new episode, Kenya Moore, Portia Williams, and Candy Burris gear up to confront Yovana again about being the reptile in question. Now, okay, now, ain't that's, that's wrong. That's so wrong. How you got three women trying to go in and confront or attack or, or sneak up on one person? Now, that's just foul. That's foul. That's foul that's foul you don't even play that on the streets how you gonna jump somebody that's a jumping thing I mean, why one of y'all couldn't go up there and ask okay now y'all got bad cop good cop and and dumb cop up there uh dumb dumb and dumber is what i'm gonna call kenya portia and uh candy because they ain't have no business going doing all that you know what i'm saying uh, i'm telling you boy boy oh boy oh boy where is cynthia when you need her because then was the three muscle kids that call themselves exiting out Portia, bringing kenya back they i tell you all her venom is just spewing through them all right and i'm like come on you don't jump nobody like that i don't care if it's verbal or it's hands-on you just don't do people like that 
and I thought better. I really did think better of Candy, but I see she just a little snake herself. All of them, all three of them snake. Hey, I like whole crew. Look like they just snakes over there. All right, trying to figure out who gonna get bit this time. All right, but we gone. That's my sidebar, not in this article, but we going back to the article, and it says to. Uh, I'm sorry. We first met Yovana last season she came on a little strong identifying herself as that itch you know she that itch from Cocker now everybody know her yeah 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 even her friend that came with her he dropped his head like that like god bless this child <laughs> you know because she making a fool out of all of us running around here and especially me and her it's like that what he was praying for like if she, she just stop please stop but anyway yeah she was making a little nutcase out of herself by self proclaiming she was the it factor when she was at uh Clark Atlanta getting her degree on and, and, and knowing she was part of the it crowd. Okay, that's just how it is. That's how she played it. And we just gonna go with it because Eva said I still don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who this girl come from. Who wins thou come? She don't know her. Okay, but it just is what it is. Uh, Eva played dumb, and she didn't know. Her. She made like she didn't know. Her. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, uh, well, she, you know, they were giving the baron to buy herself as that itch from Clark, who was best friends with one of Eva's Marcel's bridesmaids. Eva had no memory of her, just like I said. He like, uh, uh-uh. hear no Eva, see no Eva, speak no Eva. I don't know you, Hoppo. I don't know you, girl. All right. Uh, Giovanna returned this season as Nini's confidant, ready to take down whoever was at odds with the OG. Okay, it's, it's really weird. Uh, in a group of girls that you don't know, and one of those girls is really the snake. Okay, this is basically an audio they're giving us, so I'm going to read it and then I'm gonna play it if it'll play on my phone. But the audio is going on reading. It's really weird sitting in a group of girls that you don't know, and one of those girls is really the snake. King said to Portia and Candy at an event where Yvonne was also present. Now I'm like, King, what are you talking about? You know the group of women you're around. So with that statement saying you're sitting in a, a, a group of women you really don't know unless you're referring to Yvonne. But she does know them here or, north, you know, somewhat. You know, it's like she just don't know nothing of them. If anything, she's been looking at TV. All right. She's been hanging around with Ma- Marlo and Nene. I'm sure they got a clue. She got a clue of what she's hanging around. All right. So can you sit down somewhere? But anyway, going back to the uh, article says, that's what I was thinking. Now I'm going to be honest. Portia began to say before Kenya interrupted her, which Kenya does from time to time or all the time, you might say in my eyes. OK, she just want to be seen, want to be heard. And that's how she gets down. But that's not an article. That's my sidebar. Going back to the article, um, Portia begins to say before Kenya interrupted her. You think it's true? The latter asked, meaning it's Kenya. She goes and says, oh, I definitely think it's true, said Portia. Out of all the things that Nene is, why would she come out with a story about, oh, somebody recorded Cynthia talking trash? Why would, she, uh, why would you make that up? For what? Sometimes when the truth is bad enough, why add to it? And, of course, so they know uh, how Nene get down. They know her M.O. She comes straight for you, lot loaded and ready to spray. Ain't ready to go behind no body bag. Ain't ready to go to the side. She coming straight for you and stabbing you in her chest. She actually said that. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, girl, all right. But lately on season 12, you've been shying away, running away, and trying to find your spiritual guidance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, sit down, Nene. I'm through with you as well for now. Anyway, um, then it goes back to say Cynthia is not going to deny that she said something because she was in her right to say it. Can you add it? The issue is who is the itch that recorded it? Who is the snake? Now I got something to say. Now you know if if Cynthia going to talk behind somebody's back, she damn sure should be able to stand up in front of their face and break her bread of peace or or, or speak her mind so fluently so now if you can't talk don't talk about nobody behind their back if you can't share a uh, word for word in front of their face because that make you look like a fool as well or a little gossiper or a little talk behind somebody's back you know type of little person that going on out there all right we don't want those in our camp either say speak your mind okay speak your mind speak your peace and get on with it all right um that's my sidebar again not in this article uh, then it goes back and says, uh, that's when Portia brought up Yavana. 
who's been up Nene's you know what all season have we canceled her out Yovana are we canceling her out Portia asked the latest Kenya said no I'm not canceling her she maintained I don't know her like that Kenya you don't know no 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 nobody like that you don't know Candy you don't know Portia you don't know Eva you don't know Marlo you barely know Cynthia unless you're getting her together and reading her fulfilled and your damn show say you don't know Nene so I'm like I, I, you don't know nobody baby so you ain't need not have made that statement okay but that's just my sidebar moving on it says um let me see okay you think she would lie because i'm asked because i've asked her multiple times candace noted candy you ain't asked her no multiple times multiple times is like uh, four five six seven eight nine ten times i only recall her you asking her one time okay Mm, yeah just one time that's when y'all was at marlo hampton's event and then you just been telling taking it back to the other women well i asked her i asked her so technically the next time would be if you all go and confront her the way y'all saying y'all gonna go confront her like y'all three bullets i mean come on now all that please y'all know what that girl packing with do you she'll come out and go pop 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 on y'all behind them what y'all gonna do then run and try to do lawsuits and all that kind of stuff but then you went up in that woman's personal space trying to gang up on her with all your verbalness coming out y'all ain't number three bullets i'm sick of y'all already when i read the story I'm like no candy did no she did not Ah, but anyway that might be her mo i just gave her a pass all these days but i'm seeing her i'm seeing and i ain't liking the can i ain't liking all this bulliness and we already know portia had some hood in her because she already drew miss kenya for filth around that little flow and wouldn't let it go okay just like a dog with a bone and didn't want to let it go lord let's wouldn't let it go wouldn't let her hair go for nothing and they had the pride out of her hands and the uh, crew as well all right but moving on from that situation um it says, why don't we ask her? Portia suggested. You know, snakes get bothered when you mess with them. That's what Portia's saying. Okay, if you the snake, if you do not, if you not a snake, you're not going to lay there and be cool. So, if we asked you, you shouldn't be getting all bothered. That's what Portia's saying. Then maybe that will push her to want to talk or tell who it is, Candy thought. Yes, she can throw in a puddle of mess. I'm like, girl. <sighs> And I had some loyalty to you, but now you, 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 uh, your, your hands are tied. Okay, behind your back, we got you, uh, with your mouthpiece, uh, the tape over your mouth. I don't want to hear no more of you today either, cause you, you don't show me you're a bully, you're a little, uh, tattletale running around now, and you're a little shit starter. So this is too much, can you? Don't you, I don't, I got another side. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm side nine you from afar. Okay, I am side nine you from afar. But going back to the article, it says, um, then maybe that will, okay, push her to tell who it is. Candy thought exactly, Porsche replied, to get her ass out the fire. I'm like, her ass ain't in the fire. It never was in the fire. If anybody she got in the fire with is with Bravo and her continuing to get them Bravo checks because she didn't have the goods like she said she had the goods. Now I'm like, oh, you three women, I can't take it. Then it goes on to say, can you point it out? Uh, appointed at Portia and said it was her turn to be the bad cop but Portia was scared I don't want her to be nasty with me she said as Kenya shot back but I want her to be nasty with me yeah Kenya you should like nasty for nasty because that's how you get down all day every day all right but anyway it just is what it is going back to the article it said in a later confessional Portia told the camera that Kenya is the bad cop i kind of the nice cop bad cop candy is mainly gonna play quiet and we're gonna be the ones to drill this girl now candy need to be the one up there drilling since she always talking about oh she ready to crack oh oh she said this i'm like oh can i wouldn't want to be your friend girl i wouldn't want to be your friend you don't turn oh you don't turn the little shade of color i'm looking at i'm turning Ooh, I'm looking at you another girl. Another girl. Well, that why trying to be up on your ass all the time. She had to get you straight when y'all started that little show. When we thought y'all were going to get back together and stuff, Candy said, honey, I mean, uh, Tiny said, honey, are you with us? I don't want to hear all that shit them girls were talking about. But I'm asking you as your friend, are you with us? Are you not, girl? Are you going to be a part of the group? Or we got to find somebody? Honey, can't. 
Tiny had set her straight. And I'm like, girl, Tiny about four feet. But she was all up in Candace's ass like it wasn't nobody business. I'm like, I'm here for it. And yes, you know your girl, Deb Chanel, did do commentary. So if y'all want to go way, way back in my archives, you can find it. And yes, I had a lot of hits. And it was fun as hell when I was doing the commentary. But you got to go back and look at it. Okay, I'm just letting you know. But anyway, moving on from there, it said... um. As they got ready to approach the suspect, Candy told her co-star she thought Yvonne was ready to crack because she's been feeling the pressure. Mm. Are you feeling the pressure that Taurus is looking, liquidating your money, Candy? Because you try to give us a little side story that this was money you and Todd made together. So, no, he's not um, messing with my really uh, potential man I made for myself by myself yeah I, I don't believe you can I don't believe you I don't believe you the proof is in the pudding girl the proof is in the pudding but then moving back to that my sidebar not in this article it says it's important to note that the other suspect Marlo Hampton who's also willing to bat for any any time anywhere also denied being a culprit in fact when confronted by Cynthia about the group's suspicions she actually cried Nene also denied that Marlo was responsible doing a recent appearance on Straight Hand, Sarah and Kiki, assuring fans that Marlo is not that girl. Marlo is pretty much like me. We're going to go and bite you, baby. You ain't even have to worry about it. I'm telling you, you can kind of look at the show and tell who is going to be the one that's really in your face and they would do it not behind your back, she added. Uh, so the person that did this was more behind the back. Okay, and the game of Clue will continue on Sunday, um, Eastern Standard Time at 8 p.m. And let me see if I can get the audio to play. But I'm like, hell, I thought it was Candy at one time because she was just being a little bone collector for this season, going back and forth, doing all that <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, mm -mm, I ain't for it. I ain't for it. Just get in there, say your piece, say your mind, and keep it moving, Candy. But anyway, let's go to the audio if I can get it to play. And that's pretty much where it ends, guys. They hopefully they will show us that particular footage uh, this Sunday coming up. If not, the fight that we've all been waiting on to see what explosiveness had taken part, where Kenya and Nini looked like they were gonna be having hands and blowing and doing uppercuts and you know those little wrestling moves that we were privy to see back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> yes child not advocating for any fighting to go on maybe some hair pulling maybe some wig being tossed off the heads or swished around or whatnot but yeah <laughs> i'm waiting for a little zom zom okay but anyway that was my video uh for tonight hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget to get down in the comments y'all interact with one another if you have some questions for me on how i saw subject matter on this particular video you know i'm always there trying to chime in i'm always trying to set the tone of how things are supposed to go in the chat form just as long as you're being respectful you're not calling nobody out their names or, or, or you know getting back 
having bad banter or negative banter in the comments sections with others that are down there putting their spin on it, then that's a no-no. So uh, always do what you have been doing, which is being respectful to each other and just putting your feelings down there. Um, not directed toward anyone, but just putting, you know, your, um, your uh, perspectives or point of views of what that uh, what I had gave you to have a dialogue about as subject matter, okay? Because uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, when I saw that and, and I heard what Candy was saying, I'm like, Candy ain't nothing but a little big bully herself, but honey, it take hand, I mean, it take Tiny. T.I.'s wife to put her in her place, honey, because Tiny could, I mean, when Tiny got on her behind, when they was trying to do that girl group reviving or whatnot, Candy couldn't say shit. She couldn't say nothing. Okay, that four four inch woman, four feet woman, she gonna go put hands on Candy. Okay, I'm just saying, honey, don't let her strike, honey. We don't got knocked down by a four foot person. Okay, but that's all I had, yeah. That's all I had. Get out in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it. You know her. Portia and Kenya going over there trying to uh, harass uh, Yvonne when she just trying to get a spot on the show. I'm like, come on, people. Come on. I bet y'all won't go try to attack Marlo like that. <laughs> Marlo be done slept all three of y'all down. Child with the verbalness. And y'all couldn't come back from that. Y'all couldn't come back. But that's all I had, guys. Peace and blessings. And I'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos. All right. Good night. Bye.